Okay, now for question number, what was it? Question number 13, part 2. Okay, from June 2015 IAL, um, we're going to solve this trig equation. Okay, this is question number 13, part 2. Um, it says solve for theta between 0 and 360 degrees um, the equation 3 sine theta equals tan theta, giving your answers in degrees to one decimal place as appropriate. Okay, so now, we have to try to make it such that we have the same ratio in both sides of the equation. Okay, try and make it so we have the same ratio, that's one thing we can think about. Or we can make it such that we can factorize, okay, an expression. So first, first things first, um, the way it looks now, there's not much we can do with this. So let's think about the identities we know. Well, we know two main identities, which is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And we also know that tan theta is equal to sine theta over the cosine of theta. Okay, so those are two identities that we know. So again, this is the type of question where you start kind of blindly. You don't exactly maybe see the whole picture before you start, but we know, for example, I can change the tan theta to sine theta over cosine theta, and let's see if that helps. So, so you have 3 sine theta equals, instead of tan theta, I'll write sine theta over cosine theta. Okay, and now let's get rid of the fraction, multiply both sides by cosine theta. So you can have 3 sine theta cosine theta equals sine theta now here there's no whoops here there's no squares involved at all okay so we can't say make sine theta or you know into cosine theta directly very easily however we all, we should notice something important Okay, first thing is don't say, oh, let's divide by sine theta to get rid of the sine thetas. You will lose some solutions. Okay, just like if you had, for example, um, 3x squared equals x and say divide by x, you're going to lose a solution, which is x equals 0. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring everything to one side and make it say 0. So we have 3 sine theta times cosine theta minus sine theta theta equals zero. Now what you'll notice is that there is a common factor in both of these terms which is sine theta and it's equal to zero so we can use the zero product property by factorizing. We can take out sine theta as a common factor. We're left with three cosine theta minus one equals zero and now we can say we've got a product of two factors that give you zero so one of them or both of them must be zero. So we can say either sine theta equals zero, that will give you one set of solutions. Or we can say three times cosine theta minus one equals zero, in which case cosine of theta will be one third. Okay, we got to solve this between the values of, we go back um, zero to 360. Okay, so we need to solve this in the limits of theta between zero. Let's just make the limits correct with the Okay, 0 is included, okay, but 360 isn't. Okay, that's important probably in this question here. Let's be a bit neater than that. Okay, 360 degrees and 0 degrees. Okay, so 360 itself is not included, but everything up to it is. So now, let's look at sine theta equals 0. What's going on here? Sine theta equals 0. Okay, let's make some more space here. Now, if I want to solve the equation sine theta equals zero, there's lots of ways of doing it. Probably the easiest way is to think about the sine curve. The sine curve looks like this. Between zero and 360, that's zero, that's 180, and that's 360. So it equals zero at three places, but for us we only want zero and 180. Okay? We have to be in degree mode. It has to be in degrees of answers because the answer tells us to find the degrees, the answer in degrees, okay? All right. I'm not going to include 360. Why? Because this says less than 360, not equal to it. Okay, if we make sure from the question itself, you see 360 itself is not included. Okay. And then um, 
Now remember the other way I also mentioned to you before how to deal with this. You do, okay, the first angle you find by pressing shift sign of the ratio. So shift sign of zero gives you zero, okay? And the other angles are, three. Are, the other angle is 360 minus that. So you get zero and you get 360. 360 minus zero is zero. So we're not going to include this angle, okay? Um, but then, um, sorry, 180 minus that, sorry. What am I talking about? 360 is for, for cosine. So for sine, you say, okay, the first angle shift sine zero is, is zero. Okay, and for sine, the other angle is 180 minus that angle. So it's 180 minus the angle, which gives you 180. And all the other angles are 360 more or less than these angles. So if you go less than 360 for both of these, you're out of the range. If you go more than 360 from both of these, you're also out of the range. This one is just outside of the range. If it didn't say, if it said equals there, then you would get the 360 more than zero as your next solution, but it's outside the range. Okay, that's for sine. Sine, you find the first angle by pressing shift. Sine of the ratio, that gives you, the calculator will give you zero degrees. Then 180 minus that will give you the other solution. That's the other solution. And then 360 more and 360 less than both of these will give us all the other solutions. But these are the only two that we find in our range. For cosine theta, the first angle we find is by doing shift cosine of one third. Okay, so we get to our calculator. We make sure it's in degree mode, which it is, and we press inverse or shift cosine of one third. So one over three. And that gives us our angle, our first angle, which is 70.53. I'll write it to more degrees, um, a higher degree than we need. 70, was it 70? 70.53, 70.53 degrees. The other angle is found by doing 180 minus, sorry, for cosine, the other angle is found by doing 360 minus this. Why? Because it's symmetrical. The cosine curve looks like this. It's symmetrical about 180, see? It's symmetrical about 180. Whereas this is symmetrical about 90. That's why you do 180 minus that angle. Here you're going to do 360 minus that angle. So you do 360 minus 70.53. So you 360 minus our answer. That gives you 289.47. 289.47. And remember, it repeats every 360 degrees. So 360 more and less than both of these values will give you all the other solutions. They are all outside of the range. So our final solutions are 0 degrees. Then you've got 70.5 degrees to one decimal place, which is what they are, so let's just make sure. One decimal place as appropriate, okay. And then you've got your 180 degrees. Of course, you don't have to write that to one decimal place because it's an exact answer. And you have 289.5 to one decimal place. And here we have all our solutions to this problem. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Thank you for watching.